Hey you guys, so over a month ago on May 2nd, we had two vacant moderator spots. So I held an event over on my Twitch called The Great Debate between two of my good friends on who would become the next moderator for both my Twitch and Discord. Spoiler alert, they both got mod. The debate was nearly two and a half hours with four different sections. First, a general debate section where I asked questions, an open floor section where the two of them just went back and forth with each other, and then a guest mediator section where Matthew came on and asked our candidates some rather special questions to say the least, and then finally a closing statement from each candidate. I did my best to cut out all the boring stuff and keep just the best parts from the debate in the video, but you know, I can only do so much. As you can tell, this video came out to be like 35 minutes, but I can guarantee you there's some funny stuff in here. So. That's all, and enjoy the video. All Jake, right. welcome. Well, welcome tonight. Tonight, uh, let me let me introduce you all to our nominees. Audience, um, please calm down. We right. just filmed this audience, please. <laughs> oh no, yeah, I know. On the right side, <laughs> we have our Pog Party nominee, Epic Gabe. On the left side, our our Gungingu Party nominee for the moderator spot is Kronk. A.K.A. Jeremy. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, welcome to the debate, you two. Oh, you two. How are you guys feeling? Good. I'm wearing my suit and tie. I uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm very happy to be here. Oh what? Oh my God! Jeremy's in a suit. He's in a suit and everything. Wait. People. Look yeah, at this. me too. Look at this. I'm also in a suit. Jeremy's legally, just for the occasion. Damn. Of course. Legally Come cannot on. do. This, this one's a little bit of a wild card once again. What's your favorite food? Gabe goes for, or Jeremy's up first. Might I say I do love myself some chicken wings. You can bond over chicken wings. It's just it's a shared food. It's a family food. Chicken wings are the way to go. You can have them with any sauce, and that's why they're my favorite food. Kronk, what happens to be your favorite sauce to use on chicken wings? Well, might I entitle you, it is cum. But my oh. second favorite is Caribbean Jerk. That is a good one. Oh? Hey, let me tell you my favorite food is, oh. hey, okay, you know oh, me, you no. know me. Gonna talk about pizza. I'm Italian, okay? What do you think? I like the pizza, okay? And let me tell you, not just from anywhere, Tony's Pizza and Pastries. Oh my god, they make the best pizza and pastries on this side of New York, let me tell you that. Oh my god, I go out with my buddies Tony and Rasco, and we go get a we go get a big old uh, pizza pie, and we yeah uh, we eat it all up, you know. Got that thin crust, all the way on Eighth uh, Street on New York, you know. You gotta go check it out. Uh, there's a it's my favorite pizza, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. All right, now this one, this one, you you're allowed to get uh, creative with it. Okay. Um, if there was an impending nuclear disaster. What oh, steps would you take to stop it? <laughs> I thought you were going to say, like, hide or like something. <laughs> stop just, it. Just stop it. Where is this, where is this nuclear bomb going like, to, like, blow up? Um, it's going it, to... It is a extraordinarily large nuclear bomb that will wipe all of North and South America off the map. But like, but like, where's like the impact point? I gotta know where, where oh, I'm. The working. impact point. Um, let's say New it's. Jersey. Sure, let's go in New Jersey. No, fuck the Jerseys, dude. <laughs> what, what, what are we gonna try and stop it? <laughs> but it's gonna take out all of North and South America. Yeah, but mainly but Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's say it's gonna land in Texas. Oh no! I have to stop that thing right then and there. Anyways. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna give him a ring. I'm gonna give my best buddy a ring. He goes by the name Fortnite Jonesy. Now, <laughs> my buddy. Jonesy... <laughs> Sounds similar to a story I told last time, but let's hear it. My buddy Jonesy, he has connections, and my, might I say, he knows someone. He he actually knows the the Xenomorph. He knows Predator. Oh my God. He knows all the people that Fortnite has ever collabed with because they're all Fortnite canon. And so Kratos is gonna come <laughs> and master chief and freaking the joker i think the joker's in fortnite too and we're all gonna team up and with the power of friendship we're gonna stop that nuke from hitting uh, tejas might i add because everything's bigger in texas and that is why i should be mad amen gabe how would you how would you stop this impending nuclear disaster that's going to wipe out all of north and south america 
So, first thing, and I'm sure Kronk didn't mention this, this is probably the obvious first step. I would have to sell all of my stock that I have in all the companies, because <laughs> it's going to be bad for the economy, so I'm going to sell my stock first of all. <laughs> sell all the stock I got, okay? Then, it's heading for Texas. Teku's there. i got to save Teku. So, uh, and let me tell you, it's, it's going to be hard to disarm it, let me tell you that. Like, I, I, Power of Friendship's good, but I think we need to come up with a plan B. I need to get every single imper important person. i got to get Ninja. I gotta get Obama, Teku, the Blev. The Blev, yeah, Kronk. You know, even though he's my uh, he's my opponent, I still gotta save yeah, him. We'll Jake. have to come together, like at the end. Of I'd the have movie. to go save all of Twitch chat as well, and uh, we would build <clears throat> a uh, Noah's Ark of sort, and uh, we would just uh, you know sail on top. Like the explosion would like, kind of send us up in the air. I'm doing it with my hands. <laughs> so I don't know if you can visualize. We like launch into the air. And we'd ride like the wave of the explosions, right? And then we'd the all we'd all survive. And then uh, you know we'd uh, we'd have to uh, rebuild the world after. But like main thing, it'll be bad for the economy. So I had to uh, I'd all have right. to sell my stock. Well, well, and then also one one problem with this idea though is that the lo it'll affect the local child population as well. Oh so, no, like, God! Well, that's so, why like, you gotta we'll stop to, like, find it. A different way of the food. question was I gotta stopping. go fishing. I but let me tell you. You, we can't stop it, Jake. It's a trick question. I, I know your little tricks, okay? Uh, I not necessarily. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. Uh, it's launching in Texas, then? Okay. Big trampoline, okay? How about that? <laughs> Actually, that's a good idea. I can't believe that. Big trampoline. And then it goes like, hit? Hits it? Boing, 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 boing. And gets launched <laughs> into, it gets launched into the space? Boing, 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 boing. It'll get launched into space with, like, <laughs> where Vector is doing, Have like, this little... So for this section... What we're going to do is it will be a open floor debate. Um, whoever I flip the coin for and it lands, you can ask the other person a question and the other person can answer and you guys can go back and forth and, you know, lead it on however you want. And I'll, I'll let you guys be for a little bit. So okay. flipping the coin and land it on heads. So Gabe is asking Jeremy the first question. Okay. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> what's up? <laughs> Come here often? <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I do, yeah. I'm actually pretty... Same. Pretty, yeah. <laughs> Same, yeah. Um, the weather, you know? Like, what? Uh, what how's it? It was a little stormy it? today. It wasasn't too pleasant. Really? It's quite, it's quite dark here, too, yeah. Hey, have you ever had shrimp scampi? No. <laughs> I'm good? actually a big I'm actually a big fan. It's not my favorite, as we discussed previously, but it, it is good. What is I it? Do enjoy it. Well, it's more of like a high society dish. I don't know if I'd like expect you to know it, but you like seafood? Yeah, I like seafood. Seafood's pretty good. You're like more of a red... guy, though. Yeah, but I did go to Red Lobster for my birthday last year. That's not real seafood. Okay, but there is there's food from the sea though. No, not really. Like, I'd, I'd argue that there is personally. It's like the lobsters, like like the ones in the tank, they're not actually the ones that they use. Like that's just that's like that's the illusion. Okay, so what do they use then? <laughs> is my it's question. Fake. It's like I don't know. Have you been in the Red Lobster kitchen? No, I there no. Are no I actual been... Red Lobsters. All the lobsters there are green. Okay, so what's wrong with stuff being green? As in, I learned this from a book, a very interesting novel I read called The Green Eggs and Ham. <laughs> and uh, I believe one of the quotes was... Um... Are you actually about to quote Dr. Seuss? You know, he got canceled. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, he got canceled. He's actually canceled like, him for uh, racial undertones. Yeah, he was, he was actually racist. Is this real? Yes, yeah, no, like, like real, right? last oh. year. Oh, go ahead, for racial yeah, go, undertones. go ahead and quote him. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. He said, um... <laughs> oh, wait, 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 are you I don't actually even... gonna quote him? Are you actually gonna quote him? Is that, that actually make you racist? There's also evidence that, uh, you threatened my life and uh, admitted to being Adolf Hitler from World War II. Now, Gabriel, there's no need to bring such... Malarkey, I mean, such tomfoolery. But I mean, it's real, though. There's screenshots to prove it. And then you made me delete it all. But then, like, I'm sure if you check back in, like, the logs of the Discord, you could, uh... See the that I we deleted it, but yeah, it, there's evidence. No for the comment. Deleted. No for the comment. You're pandering. I mean, you admitted to being Adolf Hitler from World War Two. No for the comment. You're pandering. Crunk, let me tell you. Have you ever applied to art school? No for the comment. You're pandering. Okay, I mean, I'm, I, I'm just saying. So he's uh, he's ignoring it. Adolf <laughs> was a strong <laughs> political figure. I see nothing wrong okay. with him. Uh, I think now, he maybe. <laughs> Gabriel, to back up Demon Master here. Hitler okay, don't, don't, okay, 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 let me just say this on the record, you're backing up Demon Master saying that Adolf was a strong political figure, I see nothing wrong with him, okay, go ahead and back him up now. 
<laughs> Go ahead. Well, you you just put it in a way that was just really unappetizing for me to respond. No, I mean I'm just stating the context. I think I'll just I think I'll back down from that one. Okay. Okay. I'd like to do a little emote quiz for you. Okay. You must have you obviously have BTTV downloaded and you have uh, you know the emotes. You know all the BTTV emotes. Can I? Can oh, you yeah, name me course, a few? Yeah. Can you name yeah. me a few? Well, there's uh, monkey with balloon one. Okay. Uh, I mean, what's the actual name though? There's monkey with rubber air, rubber rubber with air inside, and then okay, there's, I mean, there's like, primate what? with inflatable rubber thing, and then there's uh, I think there's one with like S. a gun maybe. Okay, so um, what's the name of the frog? Is uh, I will ask you. Like, give me one um, of he has various names. Just give me one of them. Froggy boy. Okay, that's incorrect. I'll give that's you totally three chances. The frogster. Oh, Oh, that's incorrect, actually. Dr. Amphibious. No. I am going to be stepping away from the desk, and um, I'll be over here on the side, and I'd like to welcome our guest mediator. He'll be asking you guys a couple of questions. I'd like everyone to give a round of applause for Matthew. Oh, I was about to do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's a little soft guy. Uh, hello, all debate watchers. I will be your host for the next set of questions and where you'll truly get to know your candidates. Jeremy, our first question. Is water wet? These uh, are some good questions. Let me add. <laughs> let me yeah. let me just comment on that. <laughs> I hope there's more similar to this. <laughs> so I think water is wet. And now I, I, I can already hear the little grumpy grumps in the chat. But water is what makes things wet. Water cannot be wet. But water is touching each other, right? So like it's making every, itself wet. So I, I, that's why I think water's wet. It's like... Gabe, you have the floor now? Yeah, I'd have to disagree with that. So he... So I'd say water is what makes things wet. When water touches something, it becomes wet. Water itself isn't wet. Well, he said, like, you know, if two water molecules or whatever, they touching each other, yeah, they would be wet. Water, whenever it touches something, that becomes wet. Is cereal a soup? Oh, okay, these are some good questions. Okay, so I'd say cereal... It's not a soup. Now, some people might say, oh, oh it wow. is, because it's there's little things you eat inside of liquid. But that's that's kind of dumb, okay? Soup is what from the broth. Let's say I shit in a toilet bowl, okay? Would you consider that to be soup? I, personally, <laughs> I wouldn't. It's the same thing. It's the same thing of the argument that people are making. Where it's like, things inside of a liquid. Shit in a toilet bowl is not soup. It's, it's shit. Okay? <laughs> same thing as cereal is not soup. It's cereal. There's milk, and then there's a cereal. Okay? <laughs> And let me, and I just like to add that I love these questions. They're very fun. <laughs> and I'm very passionate you know about that these. That was the purpose of them. You know what? Yeah. I was going to argue that, but he, he won me over. That was a valid fucking point. <laughs> okay. Kronk, do you have anything? No, no. Anything no. you'd like to add since you agree? I just, he, he took it with that. that was, <laughs> I was expecting that old shit wager. That was good. <laughs> the shit yeah. gambit is what I call it. <laughs> is a thumb a finger? Oh yeah, definitely. Look, when I when I learned to count, buddy, I didn't go one, two, three, four. What the fuck is this? I went one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and it's definitely a finger. Why would it not be a finger? It's no, yeah, no. It's definitely a finger for me. Yeah. Yeah, I I I'd have to agree with that. Like, it's not it. <laughs> If we're if we're gonna classify a thumb, oh, it's called the thumb, so it's not a finger. Okay, what about like index or you know pinky? You know, it's, it's still a finger. It's not gonna say, oh, uh, okay, so you only have like three fingers because pinky is not called finger. It's called pinky. That's dumb. Okay, it's you count you one, two, three, four, five on each hand. Okay, it's it's a finger. <laughs> okay, is mm -hmm. a hot dog a sandwich? Another one about food. Hmm. Oh, okay, this one's pretty tough actually, and I. I'm not sure if I have my opinion made up on this. I would say that it is not a, not a sandwich. Oh, really? I don't really know what you classify a sandwich, but when I think of a sandwich, I'm thinking of two flat pieces of bread or, like, long, you know, bread. Not, like, a bun, but a bread. And, uh, you know, some stuff inside of that. That's what I think of a sandwich. I think a hot dog is just, like, a whole different a whole different thing. But I'm, I'm willing to change my opinion because I'm not... I don't really feel very strong about this one. I think it is a sandwich because 
or uh, for me, like if I go to Subway and I order like a sandwich, like they give it, they don't give it to me like the your standard two pieces of bread on top of each other thing. They give it to me in like a submarine thing. So I consider a hot dog to be a submarine sandwich. When you're getting a hot dog, it's it's bread, but it's the the wiener, the hot dog wiener that makes the hot dog and not a sandwich. A hamburger would be the patty okay, okay, that makes it look not a sandwich. All hot dogs are sandwiches, but not all sandwiches are hot dogs. Like, you know, it's like any literally any sandwich. That's that's how it applies. All peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are sandwiches, but not all sandwiches are going to be peanut butter and jelly, you know? One billion Listen. lions versus all of the Pokemon. A billion well, lions. That's a lot of the, lions. Are we yeah, talking about okay. like the original? This one's like, very controversial. Or, like, like all the ones now. Like all the Pokemon, like right now, versus a billion lions. So let me tell you, this this question I hear a lot. It is very, very, very controversial. Most people go for the lions. Okay, there's a billion. There's a lot. I do agree, but the Pokemon they have they have abilities that the lions don't. Just just because it's a large number, there's like some like Pokemon are basically gods. Like. They have so much power. I feel like some of them can fly too. Lions can't fly. They get like stack up on top of each other. But like still, <laughs> e even though the amount of lions is a lot, I think the Pokemon will win. Most of them would get fucking wiped out. You think fucking Charmander's fine? No, he's gonna fucking die. But like all like the legendaries and all them, they're like the flying fucking all the OP Pokemon. Fucking, I'm pretty sure like Celebi can like time travel or some shit like that. I'm not too up to date on their uh, abilities. I don't know if so someone with, like. Abilities like that, but yeah, I'd have to go with Pokemon, even though it's controversial. So, Oliver added something into chat that I think means a little bit. So, Oliver says Dialga can control time, and Arceus is literally God. True! So Jacob, may I butt into this real quick? Jacob, you're saying lions will defeat all the Pokemon. A billion lions, but here's the thing. Lions can't fly. Arceus can just fly, and so can a lot of others. So, <laughs> yes, I, I, I you don't didn't realize how many lions. <laughs> that a billion lions is a lot of lions. A billion lions is like all the Karens in the world. It, it's it a lot, like, but it's not enough to kill all the like, like one, one of each Pokemon. The population of the entire world is just lions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Lions, lions will jump. You can't fly away from that. What are they gonna make like? Dude, uh, you, they're gonna make like the, the Walking Dead zombie like pile up from the movie. They can find the space, bro. Lions can't survive up there. What if the lions just made a space tower? Th then they die. They can't. Lions can't. No, they can't hold their breath in space. Okay. <laughs> they can't. They cannot. And simply hold their breath. Running away, yeah. Running away, get your gatherings. All like that oh, this OP Pokemon. You're like, you know, think of all their abilities and just wipe out the fucking world. Killing one of the gods will of everything. If you kill Palkia, space will cease from existence and nothing will happen anymore. Yeah. So then it'd be a tie at that point then. What is the most annoying color? And we're going to start with Kronk. Um, I, I don't like, um, uh, I don't like that shitty green color. Like that, that poopy green. That my cousin's thing. green. Why? You don't really? like green, Jeremy? Well, no, it's just like there's like one shade of green I don't like. It's like it's like this really crappy green. It's the color of my cousin, actually, so... Why is your cousin Whoa, crappy? Whoa, okay. Because he was just born like that, okay? You should probably get that checked out. I don't think that's <laughs> No, it's like... It, what, I, what? Are you saying it's a... Are you, Kronk, are you suggesting it's a problem? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> He's not even human. He's a plant. That's you're making I, fun of him? Why, why are you brothers to the plant? That makes me... My cousin, actually. Oh, uh, why, why is your cousin... My, a uncle, my uncle was a tree. Who fucked the tree, Gabe? <laughs> oh! Okay. My, okay, my, okay. My, Gabe, my aunt. Gabe, yeah. what is the most annoying color? Uh, none. I like all, all the colors. None? Pretty cool. All colors? No. There's no, 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 no. Makes you, What makes you say that? Okay, that's not what I said. I, <laughs> I said no colors are annoying. They're okay. all not annoying. Now, finally, we're moving on to the visual aid section. <laughs> Option two. God damn. Oh my god, my math teacher showed us this picture. So the question is, if a dog wore pants, would it wear them covering all four of its legs or arms, however, whatever you want to call them? Or would it only cover its rear end, so hind legs and butt? Okay, I'd say it's uh, number two, the one on the right. As uh, if you think about walk dogs, if they were walking bipedal, as in like on their two, uh, but their they two... don't walk bipedal. That was good, that was good vocabulary. If they, yeah, but think about it like that. If they did, they would walk. They, I've, I've seen my dog walk bipedal before, 
And uh, he, he'd walk like that. Those would be his two legs and those are his two arms. And th it's the same way that humans wear pants. The second way, what's the point of that? That'd be hard. How would you walk? How do you walk? I feel like that'd be difficult to walk like that for the dogs. Also, it, they're, the whole point of the pants is to, it's to cover, your cover, cover your asshole, right? It, yeah, it doesn't... Yeah, I don't I think do. it is in that picture. Like, it depends on the location, but it's possible that it's not, which would just be unaffected. While the second picture would be just constantly, it'd be quite consistent with covering up the asshole of the dog. You know what? We're agreeing on so much more than I thought here, Gabe. I just, I, you know, it's just it's kind of surprising yeah. to me. So, thank you, candidates, for coming to my section of the debate. I really appreciate both of your inputs, uh, and I hope that this conveyed to the audience some of yeah. the traits of our potential moderators this concludes my questions for the debate thank uh, you before we close things out tonight um we're going to open the floor for the audience to ask some questions i'll let the audience ask away and then i will i will take up audience questions and then ask them directly to you guys what are the candidates opinions on dogecoin and this is open board i'm not going to say who goes first well, uh, you know, I just I'd like to say that I'm not too advanced in the whole stock market world, but I did watch The Wolf of Wall Street, so I think I'm an expert. <laughs> <laughs> Might I just say that do not invest in Dogecoin. It is not the right move. It did go up, and I just I think you'd you'd rather just invest in some more uh, I guess stable stuff. Um, but yeah, that's that's your Kronk advice. Who I which I have watched The Wolf of Wall Street. So this one's coming from uh, Oliver. Do you guys like Chick Fil A? Simple yes or no. Yeah, I'm a big fan. I've, Gabe, do you uh, even have no, Chick-fil-A? I don't think we have that here. I've, I've never been. It sounds pretty so good, it? though. It, no, I'd try it. So but uh, I, don't th I, don't, I don't know if there is in Canada. I think there no, is. There, there it's not where I live. No, I don't think so. There isn't? No. No, like, actually, well, like, I've I mean, never tried I think it's like, I think I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there's Okay. <laughs> I think, that, <laughs> take the intensity down a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Alex asks, does Jake have an absolute dump truck of an ass? I've seen it in person, and I can definitely say he does. Gabe has not I, seen it in person. But I've seen it not in person, but I've seen it through video. So Have and I can And yeah, and I don't even need to see it in person to know that it's uh, monkey dumpy. Monkey I've, dumpy. I felt the sheer velocity before, and it's it's quite a lot. Before we close things out, we're going to have a final segment. I'll give the our nominees however much time that they may need for the floor and jeremy will be our first person to have the floor for his for his final statement his final campaign statement and whatever may be included within that it's a google slides presentation i i just like to say it's been a real fun campaign run guys i've i've had so much fun and i just thank you so much to everyone who supported me even wonder who he kind of is going back and forth thank you moldy out there he's not at stream tonight but i really hope he's gonna vote for me uh, all my mods out there, Gerg, uh, Barry, Nene, and uh, anybody else I'm forgetting. Um, the, uh, the 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 uh, the artist guy that just joined the Discord tonight. He's in he's in the he's in chat tonight. He's been supporting me like crazy. Demon Masters even supporting me for a little bit. Um, thank you all so much for being my supporters, and I'm so glad that we could do this. Remember, I'm for you. I'm for the individuals, and I'm so happy we could do this. And to close out my campaigning, I'd like to present to you my slideshow. Why Gabriel is unfit for mod. This is why Gabriel is unfit for mod, the untold truth. Let's see it. Gabe, what do you think about these characters? <laughs> They're ducks. We got, uh... And, are you a fan? Uh, ducks. We got Scrooge Mick. We got Daffy. We got, uh, Donald. We got the Darkwing Duck. We got, um, Howard, I believe. The duck. They're pretty yeah. cool. You know them. So you know them, right? Well, I don't personally know. I know of well, them. Well, I, yeah. I know you don't personally know them, but like you know the characters, right? Of course, everybody does. You like ducks, right? Like I like ducks. You like ducks? Yeah. Do you like ducks? Yeah, I love ducks. You love ducks. Okay. So Gabriel hates okay, ducks. Wait, okay. <laughs> 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 and that's. This is my proof, ladies and gentlemen. On September 21st, 2020, at 4.49 p.m., Gabriel said, I hate ducks. Can, the entire, can everybody in the audience see this? Yes. My, yes. Um, yeah. yes. In, in can I make a comment on that? No, not yet. Can I make yet. a comment on that? Not yet. Okay, okay. No, leave it to the end, please. Thank you. Okay. Now, previously, literally just a few seconds ago, this is clipped and shipped, I hope. 
he just said, I love ducks. And he proceeded to name all the ducks on screen. He like, he was a big fan. Now, are we really going to root for this liar? Now, this, okay. is just a, this is just a scratch of the surface. But Gabriel does hate ducks. Fact. I, I'm just gonna make a comment. This was this was in 2020. This was a long time ago. My my I'm opinion well changed. I'm well aware, Gabriel. I'm my well aware. My opinion. Ever heard of it? You can change your opinion. It's my counter yeah, argument. It was less it's than a possible. year ago. This yeah, is, I, I'm that's just fine. Stating, hey, I'm just stating the facts. Okay, that I changed my opinion, which shows that I'm able Anyways, to uh, learn and Yaller. like uh, change my opinion Gabe, on new evidence. Gabe, please respect. Really please respect. Sorry, Jeremy sorry. has the floor. Respect his time. This is Abby Mallard. Do you know Abby Mallard? Um, from uh, that, what's that show where like uh, the duck? Movie? The, yeah, the okay, <laughs> the movie. What is it Chicken called? This yes, Chicken Little, where the uh, right. the sky falls. Yeah. yeah, so you've seen it, right? Yeah, mallards are pretty cool. So she dances. Do you, do you know what song she dances to? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> Abby Mallard. I'd say she probably dances to "Don't Go Breaking My Heart." Yeah, that's great. Do you know who wrote that oh. song? Actually, do you know who wrote and sang it? Uh. Pff course um <clears throat> yeah um i say here click him like you're looking up elton john uh, cracking shit i should have known that <laughs> elton john right oh love elton yeah you do all right so this takes us to our next point uh elton john wrote rocket man right this is one of his most famous songs this is this is the single cover of his of his hit rocket man um do you know do you know who else was a rocket man um Neil Armstrong. True. <laughs> Neil Armstrong was a rocket man. Are, are we on the same page? I, I'd say we're on the same page. Yeah. Neil Armstrong worked for NASA. Gabe hates NASA because okay. he hates ducks. <laughs> it all leads down a chain. And because <laughs> you hate NASA, you hate all the people who work there. And I, I just, I can't believe I don't that, think Gabe. That's true. That is so disgusting of you. I don't think that's true. <laughs> In conclusion, Gabriel's unfit to be mod for Mr. Diamond's Gamer Cave and Twitch. Kronk definitely has the lead here. Please don't hate ducks, Gabe. They have done nothing to you. Kronk, is very, op very, Kronk very openly supports ducks and believes they are just as valuable than anybody else. Vote Kronk for the Gungingu party this election. Thank you for your time. Well, okay, um, now the floor goes to you, Gabe. Um, yeah, so before before we start my, uh, my presentation... Um, I just like to say that uh, we need to find the true north here, okay? We need to figure out who is the most fit for mod, and I believe uh, this presentation should help us find the true north and um, other business buzzwords, of course. Um, another business buzzword, another business buzzword. Uh, yeah, so and that's what I think about uh, this election, and I just let the uh, presentation uh, start the presentation. Make sure you turn your volume up, Jake, because there's music. And yeah, so we have an opening shot here. I had to censor the flag because I don't I think it's against 2OS, what Kronk was uh, showing there. Uh, me Jeez. holding the uh, beautiful American right, flag, huh? you know. So yeah. Uh, let's, uh, <clears throat> let's get started. Boys, the plan is simple. We need to vote for Epic Gabe on this election. Mm -hmm. But in order to do this, I've helped us by compiling a list of the top 10 reasons to vote for Gabe. Number 10, Gabe is epic. It is true. <laughs> According to multiple sources, Gabe is probably very cool and epic. He's also very hot. He also has the word epic in his name, which just further proves how epic he is. Oh, wow, Number cool. 9, he's got drip. Holy shit, look at this man. He's dripping out of his mind. It is said that they call him an ice cube at room temperature because he has so much drip. Sheesh! <laughs> Number eight, he's very knowledgeable about Twitch. Gabe is very knowledgeable about Twitch and he will be able to properly moderate Jake's Twitch. He also runs his own Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Gabe, go follow. Number seven, he's for the people. A vote for Gabe is a vote for freedom and for the people. Gabe's main goal is to keep everybody happy and help people. Gabe has reportedly saved multiple puppies and toddlers from burning buildings. It is true. Number six, Gabe is against racism. It's true. Gabe is against racism and believes everyone should be welcome into our community. Reports show that Gabe was discriminated against for being Canadian. Ah, oh, wonder who did that. Kronk. Ugh. Sorry, I had to cough. You cough here. Gabe, this is a picture of Gabe at the Gabe parade after he stopped acts of racism. It's real. I don't know if it's a stick, but okay. 
Number 5, Gabe would be a great Discord mod. It is true, Gabe has been part of Jake's Discord longer than Kronk has and has big plans. Poggy's in the chat, boys. Gabe also plans to hold various community events on the Discord. <gasps> what? That was a really cool ending. Oh my god. What is happening? No, you, you're villainizing me! <laughs> Kronk B? <laughs> PK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the music selection. It was really interesting. Sheesh! What? Obama? My uh, fellow Americans, we must have stopped Gronk. <laughs> wow. That was beautiful. Boys, and that is the top 10 reasons why you should vote for Epic Gabe. I am Epic Gabe, and I approve this message. Remember to vote today. Voting starts today. Vote for Epic Gabe in the election, That's really and you will not regret it. Thanks, everybody, for uh, watching my, tier, my top 10 reasons, and I hope this will convince you that I am a perfect candidate for mod. Wow. Those were some performances. Dang. That thank you both of you for those final statements. Um, that was just that those were those were incredible, Gabe. That was impressive. Uh, uh, Google Slides work. I honestly Thanks. have no idea how you do that. It took me five slides to make it. Wow, impressive. Oh. Thank you, you two, for setting aside time and coming here tonight. You know, for the big debate we've been anticipating the last two weeks. I think that concludes um, our debate here tonight. So, thank you everyone who showed up. Uh, once again, thank you to our nominees, um, Jeremy for Kronk from the Gungingu party. Yeah. And, yeah, that's you. And then Epic Gabe from the Pog party. Yes. Hope you all have a fantastic night. I hope you all have all enjoyed the debate. And um, as always, don't die. Stay hydrated. Sleep well. And I'll see you all in the next stream. Have a great night.